Welcome to Sports Cards once again. In this video, we're going to check out one of the biggest sports card auction websites in the world that you've probably never heard of. Come and check out Card Hobby with us. Card Hobby is the premier auction website for sports cards and other kind of sports memorabilia in China. Now, the Chinese market and the Western market tend to not really intersect that much, except maybe every once in a while on eBay you have some sellers selling things. So I thought this would be an interesting uh, little website to just introduce you to, just so you know. Uh, this is actually a video coming up. There's a, a viewer of mine named Robin Williams who requested this, and I have made this video for him. So first, I'm, I'm checking out here uh, the hockey cards you can see when you go to China. Uh, I'm going to look at some of the sports first that, that there's not that much. So this is, this, this is the site. This is what they're selling in the hockey section. You can see there that there's only 11 cards on sale currently, and that's pretty normal. Some of these last for a, you know, a week or so before they disappear from here, and there's periodically some new cards getting on here. I've never bought any hockey cards yet on here because there's never that much, not that big of a deal. But you can see there's there's a number of different sports you can choose from. Football here is American football. Oftentimes it's actually translated as rugby. Usually there's a bit more selection in football and baseball than there is in hockey, but not too much. Now what that means for me, sometimes the deals can be really good. So let's say I find a card. Here's, here's a card that I want to look into. It's a Miles Sanders rookie labeled out of 49, uh, and the current top bid is only about a dollar. So when I find a card like this, I know that Miles Sanders isn't, doesn't have super valuable cards, but <clears throat> a card numbered out of 49 for a dollar, it's worth me checking out. So I'll go over to eBay, just like, just like you probably do, see if I can find this card, recent comps. See this one here is a Vertex out of 49. Oop, gotta remember, find the sold item specifically. Going through, I can see, okay, that's just the base is 99 cents, another base is $5, but this is not the numbered out of 49 version. Um, so oftentimes if I can't find what it is, if I don't know exactly what it is after scrolling through and I still can't figure out, okay, none of these are out of 49, then oftentimes I'll go open up my Com C. So Com C, if you've never checked this one out, I highly recommend it as a place to go buy, sell sports cards. It's a good one. Uh, Star Stock is a good one too if you're into into specifically rookies. So I, I use this as a as a resource as well when I'm trying to figure out what exactly this card is. So I, I know that in here I can find most likely the base card. On oh, here we go. Right here I found one out of 49. So I now know this is the Vertex Purple. Uh, it's selling for about eight bucks on on Com C. So then I'll just come back and type in purple, give it a little bit more specific search parameters. I can use Com C's sales data. You know, I don't have any history enabled right now, but I can use that to just get a little bit of a better sense for what the possibilities are. Now, I don't think this particular card is worth that much, but it's only got a dollar. So if I did decide that I want to bid something on it, you know, I have to always calculate in the shipping. Shipping's going to be about two to three bucks, depending on where it's coming from. So I have to calculate that in. So I'm not going to go that much higher for this one. Sometimes I'll go a little higher if I'm buying several from the same bidder. In this case, I'm bidding 11 RMB, which is a little less than two dollars. I oftentimes, when I'm bidding on this site, uh, I'm, I'm not going above a third of eBay comps for most cards, unless it's a card I really have a lot of faith in, um, then I'll go up to half, or if I have extreme faith in it, then I'll maybe go up to 80% of eBay comps at the very maximum on like a, you know, like I just bought some, some a rookie card of, of Steph Curry and Kevin Durant and Luka Doncic, and I went up to, uh, on, on some of those, I went up to as much as like 70% from eBay comps. So anyway, so back to football here. So as I go through, this is basically the process I'll go through. I'll find different cards. Uh, I don't know as much about football cards and baseball cards. I, I know a bit, but I know a lot more about basketball. So I find myself with football and baseball having to look up a lot more, a lot more cards, which is fine because I actually find that I'm also becoming more well-versed in football and baseball through that process as well. I'm, I'm getting a better sense of, of what players and what cards and you know gradually getting more to the point where I don't have to look up every card so I'm spending less time looking up than I than I used to but but still a decent amount as I'm learning so looking again through through eBay I can see this one okay there's a one night out of 199 took a best offer was selling for 12 it's not a whole lot of comps on this one now sometimes I'm finding that some of the cards that are for sale um, on card hobby and in football and baseball are actually ones that are a little bit harder to find sometimes. A lot of them come from like I'm finding the 2019 National Convention, which is like a multi sport pack, finding a lot of good deals from that set, but it's not like a well known or popular set. So when I'm bidding online, you know, here, here's this little note. I oftentimes also find myself needing to go over to translate.google.com 
type things in and just to make sure. Uh, I don't do this all the time, but I do it sometimes. I'll also do this occasionally if there's, you know, explanation about the card and I you know, I need to see if it's, a, let's say, a silver prism or a base. Sometimes it's hard to tell from a picture, so I can I can check that out to also get some better ideas. This is what it looks like once I'm, once I'm bidding something. So in here, it looks like my bid, I pr must have pressed the wrong button, so my bid didn't take. So the current leading bid is 15 RMB, so I put in 24 RMB, about $4. Uh, and then wait a minute boom I'm currently in the lead with 16 rem and B so I don't expect to win some of these cards again with some of these cards that I'm not that excited about I, I still put a bid of like you know what I think is a really will definitely make me some money and then I don't bid again if it's a card I really want I'll come back closer to the time where it's time to bid and, and, and see if I can can jump up a little bit so here's another one this one was a maybe a little bit more interesting a little bit more valuable card so the current high bid is about five bucks on this one it's the Chase Young um, uh, rookie autograph nice card so again so I go over check it out boom see several okay now that one's graded in some weird grading company this one's $71 but it says purple ink I don't know if that's the same value or not look closer looks more blue okay there's a blue same price 71 bucks okay so all of these are right around that range so I got a sense that this card is probably about a $70 card or so so I'm gonna go a little a little higher on this one I'm gonna go ahead and go up to Let's say 122. Now that's about 20 bucks. So again, that's about that's less than a third, but more than a quarter of uh, it's two sevenths, I guess, of its value. Now you can see the current my current bid all, all the way up to 110 RMB. So it's very unlikely I'm going to win that one. But again, I don't know enough about this card to be willing to bid more than about a third, which is common for a lot of you know football players. If it's a, a Justin Herbert card or a Tom Brady card or something, you know, I, I might be more willing to go higher if it's one of the either one of the top young stars or one of the goats uh, baseball is kind of a similar process I'll go through now on this this particular guy whoever whoever's putting up a ton of these base cards I tend to skip through these these same cards are up on here almost every day and nobody buys them and then they just keep putting them up there again and again so I skip through these ones a lot you know for some of these ones that are that that I could get for one Kwai, which is about 15 cents or 12 cents something like that if I did buy something from this from this particular bidder I might bid on some of these you know for that for that 12 cents just to add them into the shipment that's a pretty common approach that I'll take so sometimes you can see boxes on here and these ones also um, these ones are actually up for offer not just for for auction that is an option on the site as well you can set up you know set up you want to sell something for a thousand rem and beer or whatever and take more best offer it's not as common to do that on this one as it is like on eBay now here looking at basketball sometimes you'll find boxes and packs uh, more boxes than packs select is super common and then a lot of single cards you can see these ones like these ones here are all ending in the next 30 minutes whereas I don't know if you noticed but in football and baseball they were all ending like six seven hours from now so for football and baseball the cards are pretty much always ending in the evening basketball has more ending throughout throughout the day at different times uh, the majority of them are still happening you know ending maybe between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. or something like that um, but basketball has a little bit more throughout so here's another one I was looking just to see if this happened to be a silver or something I call him Jia Morant instead of John Morant uh, so I, I like this card I like John Morant so I'll, I'll go check it out I know these hometown heroes aren't super valuable but it is a Morant rookie so I see okay 750 that one's out of 149 950 okay so in that range there's another one out of 149 this one's only selling for two bucks so has a bit of a range but I do like it it's currently selling for about 325 uh, nah, never mind another John Morant XR rookie selling for a little bit more than five bucks right now let's check this one out Well, these all look silver though so that one looks much more like a pink or purple what do we got on here there we go that one pink parallel okay so this one must be the pink parallel let me just make sure so if I know it's not the base makes me want to look into it a little closer the translation there we go yeah pink parallel there we go rookie year okay let's check this one out so that one's selling for 30 bucks or sold for 30 bucks rather that's pretty good let's, let's see if we can find a few more pinks 30 bucks that's the silver there's a just 850 oh that's pretty low there's another 19 okay so this is probably closer to that 20 range or something I'm not gonna go too high on this one 
because sometimes it sells for low. I, I got a number of John Morant rookies. Eh, somebody's already outbid me. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm pretty picky when I bid for cards here. Uh, I've spent a lot of money already, but I've noticed that if I'm really picky about it, I can get some extremely good deals. So I'd rather just hold off and get the extremely good deals. Every once in a while, I see some cards like this that I just kind of drool over a little bit. I mean, I know this is just a precious Chua in his college uniform, but this is a downtown. In his college uniform? Yeah, in his Memphis uniform. Uh, so this is an example of one. You can see those two those two buttons. Um, you don't you don't bid on this one. This is a or best offer. You could buy it for fifteen hundred RMB, which is two hundred forty six dollars about, or best offer. So some of these that, that happen during the middle of the day are like that. The auctions, there's some auctions also, but the, the auctions tend to be more often ending in the seven p.m. to ten p.m. thing. So you can see those two buttons there. That's the way. Here, let me translate this for you real quick. Yeah, there we go. So you can press the buy it now or make a quotation. Uh, so this is a PSA version. There's not that many graded cards when you look on this site. It was just kind of interesting. I don't know if you've noticed that. Uh, graded graded cards are not as common in China. I mentioned in my other video, uh, and I am going to do a bit of a deep dive into the grading situation in China because there it is changing. The the sports card collecting world in in China is is been going through a lot of. I mean, it's it's relatively new in the last 10, 15 years, and it's took took off. And the grading card realm of it is also beginning to become more common. Now, just looking at some of the other stuff on this card hobby soft on this card hobby site, just for your information, you can also, you know, as well as having these major sports, they have this section here, which is basically other, and it's other sports specifically. So this one has F1 sometimes, quite a bit of UFC. Uh, sometimes you'll see, you know, a random, I don't know, a random golf card, a random tennis card. I think today when I look through this, it's mostly UFC. Uh, you also, oddly enough, you see a lot of like model cards, like especially like Japanese um, idols uh, in here is, at times, um, and then other like random small sports that might just pop up. These days, it seems like there's a bit more UFC than anything else. That's one other thing. And then this site also has you can buy jerseys, autographed jerseys, shoes, sneakers. Uh, you know, a number a number of different things actually are on this site. I think mostly those ones are are. Here, I'll tra translate this one. So you can see trendy equipment. You can get uh, jerseys and sneakers. The jerseys are expensive, but there's some good ones in here and sometimes autographed stuff. Like there's a Kuzma autographed going for 86, an Iverson autograph for 350, a LeBron James autograph that's being sold for buy now for $47,000. And a, a bunch of others. So jerseys are, are relatively popular. I haven't bought any on here. Shoes, I don't see much on here. This one's been sitting on here for a while already. Still has five more days. Uh, you don't see too many on here, but you know, some, maybe every once in a while you get somebody posting up a bunch of them or something. I just don't pay as much attention to that one. And then you got also your non-sports stuff. So for the non-sports stuff, it's a combination. Sometimes it's it's from movies or uh, Marvel kind of you know comics and things like this. They don't have comic books, unfortunately. I have been looking for those, but those are not as common on this one. You can find those in China on, online, just not on this site in particular. So this is Pokemon. Maybe some other gaming cards make their way in here. Sometimes the, the organization feels a little strange. Like some of these cards, like Pokemon mixed in with, with actors. And it seems like the actors might better be in the other one. So it's not always perfectly organized, but generally. Even even sometimes I'll see some basketball pop up in, in the baseball section or the football section or vice versa. Uh, this one is some of the graded, the graded uh, Pokemon and gaming cards as well as some other Pokemon and gaming cards. These ones go, there's quite a few bidders in this realm. I don't have much knowledge in that realm, so I don't check it out much, but uh, there's quite a few bidders in there. So I figure you're probably not getting as good of deals as you can in some of the other sports. And then just looking here, you also see you have, you know, the mall, the seat card area, the news section. These sections I kind of just ignore. And, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot going on. I think there's some purpose for them here and there. There's a news section. It's all in Chinese. So my Chinese is not that good. Good enough to know that I'm not accidentally spending millions of dollars. The forum, I've never really participated in this either. But it's relatively, relatively active somewhat. So there's a number of things going on. Let's see what else do we got here yeah so usually I do this on my phone so I'm a little more familiar on my phone but yeah here's the system messages so this is where you can go on on my phone this app automatically does it in English for me as well which makes it a little easier so this is where I can get information about if I've been outbid on anything or once in this ex example when when shell sellers have, have shipped something it keeps me updated on you know when they arrive when they've been shipped all this kind of stuff and then this is you know this updates me on if I've been outbid um, or if I have a if I have an auction ending in the next 15 minutes or five minutes or something like that, it also 
does this. So this pops up notifications on my phone as well since I, again, usually use this on my phone. So yeah, this is the communication with the seller. So oftentimes, you know, for me, I'll, if I'm buying a bunch from one, from one seller, for example, I'll ask them to, to combine them into one lot, you know, or if, um, or if I, I, you know, for my situation, I like them to, to just go ahead and put in the, the, they have two options for the, for the shipping. They can either not add any shipping charge and then the shipping company just charges me when it, when they arrive at my door and I pay there, or I can just have them add the shipping charge. And I usually do that in case I'm not home and stuff. It's just easier. This is where I go see what's going on currently. Uh, these are the things, these supposedly have, have arrived today. I, we actually ship them to our friend's house cause we live kind of a rural area. So to see today if those are there and these are other ones that are in in the process of being shipped so this is a recent order i got a bunch of luca rookies a, a curry rookie a hardened rookie for really good prices you can see as i go down here some of the cards are, are more expensive some are cheaper the ones that are cheaper oftentimes i'll have bought one for a more reasonable price and i'll go to that same seller and just buy as many like really good deals as i can find so that i can add them all into one lot there's a trey young rookie it's on its way a halliburton that's on its way some really good deals in there and these are the ones that are waiting to be shipped. So just one there waiting to be shipped. This is just my Google translator here, so it's not the not the best. Oh, what's going on? Okay. Um, and then then the last that last one there is also the ones I haven't paid for. So there's one I haven't paid for yet because I'm waiting for a few other bids from the same seller. And then I'll pay it just at one time. So this is all cards I've bought in the past. You can see as you scroll down, I mean, I'm going through quickly, but you can just imagine these cards, I'm getting them for steals a deal. Every once in a while I, I find, oh man, I made a little mistake. I probably bid closer to comp or something like that. But generally I've been making some incredibly good deals in here um, for all sorts of range of cards. I, yeah, you can see here, there's four pages there and even more than that really. Um, and I've, I, I'm most of the, for the most part, I'm just collecting them, but I am trying to figure out how to ship some of these back to the States, Put I just shipped actually a shipment of about 180 rookie cards that were in the range of like between $3 and $20 value. I shipped them to Starstock. Uh, I'm going to put them up on there. It'll take a bit of time and it cost me a lot of money to ship it internationally. In fact, that box cost me almost $40. Uh, but I figure with 181 cards in there, even that really expensive shipping cost was worth it for me. Uh, since it's just easy, you know, the cards are selling pretty cheap in China. If I tried to resell them here, I wouldn't be making much of a profit. But if I sell them on Starstock, I could probably make a pretty good profit while still offering probably the best deal available for most of them. So it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good situation for me. It's not the easiest thing to get involved with if you're outside of China. They do have an international shipping option. There's ways to figure out. It's just really complicated. Even getting it connected, you have to have it connected to your either your Alipay or your WeChat Pay uh, so that you can pay, you know, domestically here. Uh, shipping internationally might be possible, but again, that's going to become really complicated. So for the most part, this is for the domestic market. Uh, it's just difficult to navigate. I, I was able to, you know, my wife is Chinese and so she helped me to navigate the initial stages of getting all set up and helped me learn it a little bit better. So I was clear about everything. And then from that point on, I've been able to figure it out. And every once in a while, you know, I can figure, I have enough Chinese to kind of figure out some of the spots. And if I can't, then Google Translate will help me every once in a while. If I get a message from some seller about something or another and I really can't figure out what, what what he's talking about then I'll just ask my wife to help me out so it's kind of necessary I think when you're doing this to have somebody you can ask some questions to every once in a while uh, but otherwise yeah that's that's card hobby I thought this would just be an interesting way to introduce you to this it's a uh, you know I think this it's got something like a hundred thousand or more um, people participating in it so it's very popular over here uh, and it's it's a it's a nice site I'm enjoying it quite a lot I've had only only positive things from this so far and I've gotten some great deals so Anyway, that's the end for this video. Please do subscribe to this channel. This is a new channel. And uh, if you have any suggestions for, for video content you'd like, uh, let me know. I mean, this video was created specifically because somebody made a suggestion in the in the, um, in the comment section. And so I was like, okay, yeah, if, you, if you'd like that, maybe give it a try. So if you have some other ideas, please do share in the comments below. Check you later. Bye.